This tutorial will cover layers options and cutting order. I'm going to start by making a file. I'm going to draw a square and then I'm going to repeat it using the copy option, entering the number of rows, the number of columns, and the gap which is the spacing between the objects. Now let's say I want to cut these in order. I want to cut the bottom row and then the next row and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each row and change it into a different color which makes different layers. And you can see in the upper right corner that these are creating different layers. So it's going to cut the black layer, and then the blue layer, and then the red, and the pink, and the yellow, according to the list in the upper right hand corner. Now let's go back and try something else. I'm going to change all these squares to the same layer. And let's say I don't want to cut these squares, but I want to cut an offset of these squares. So um, the offset tool is used usually when fitting parts. So I can offset these objects say five millimeters to the inside of each shape. And I can go back in the layers panel and I can choose to cut the output which is um, the machine is only going to cut what is checked. I'm only going to cut the green layer and not the black layer. Now let's say I want to cut both these layers but I want to cut one before the other. I can move the layers up and down so it cuts the black layer first and then the green layer. So now let's look at something that might be more applicable. I'm going to add some text. I'm going to move one of the objects to the middle of the bed and I'm going to add some text to engrave on it. I'm going to rotate it to fit. And move it into place using the pick tool. And let's say I want to engrave where it says digital wood. And maybe I want to cut the other two layers. And usually when I engrave, um, I like to do the engraving first and then do the cutting. So I'm going to move the engrave layer up to the top so it does that first. So now it's going to engrave the pink layer and then cut the green layer which I moved up and then cut the black layer which is last. Now let's say I want a specific output order. I want to engrave part of it first and then the rest second. So I can choose specific options in adjusting the output order. And you just select the number of the object, move it over, and that's what it will engrave first. So let's say I want to engrave these first three things and then the rest of it, of the pink layer, and then the green layer, and then the black layer. I can also go in at this point and change speed and power settings. Um, if I wanted to have just a light engrave line on the green layer, I could change that to a lower speed and power. Let's say I'm cutting through a thick wood, or I want to perforate the black layer, I would use the whole option. And so now it's going to engrave the first three objects within the pink layer, then it's going to do the rest of the pink layer, then it's going to do the green layer, and then the black layer. I can double click on my speed and power settings and set the speed, power, and scan gap for engraving, which um, these settings will be covered in another video. And then on the green layer, I'm going to change my speed, power, and corner power. I can use a lighter setting on the power if I don't want it to cut through the material, if I just want it to engrave. And then the whole settings, which are um, a different function, 
I can set the power and the interval so the laser will fire at specific intervals. This is a way to cut through a thicker material or perforate a material.